Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Among Trees and episode 7 of our series. This might be the last one. This might be. So if this is our last episode, and you'll know by the end of it, uh, I might take a day off before you see another video from me. But I'm having a really good time coming back and making videos. 500 views on episode 1 of the series. Not, you know, nothing fancy for a channel of 45,000 subscribers or whatever we are, but... For a guy who's been away as long as I have, that's always exciting to see. So if you're joining me here in Episode 7, thank you so much. What we're going to be doing today is expanding the final expansion on our cabin, and you know what that is. That is the brewing room. And once I've done that, we'll see if that gives us any ideas as to what to do with the rest of our time. But at this point, all I can think of to do is to do some final exploration. So we're going to take a stack of this. I should have been paying better attention. Hoof fungus stack of that and we'll grab I think it was 36 planks so we'll grab everything we've got in storage and we will come down here and do our final expansion oh I need more hoof fungus I think I've got it let's do a little quick peek uh right here yeah I've got it don't you worry about now come on I'm stocked up I'm, I'm to the gills eh, more dog bane stems god dang it <laughs> Uh, all right. All right, I'll bring everything we've got. Ba-boom. Brew your own beverages. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. We're going to put away these extra supplies, and then we will head outside and take a little peek at what this looks like from the exterior. Uh, most of these rooms, pretty simple, obvious additions. This one will be the least obvious, because juts off the back of the house but we now have a fully complete fully complete manor cabin in the woods so that's our brewing extension now over several episodes i've managed to gather up three resources that seem to be used specifically in brewing now we found them throughout the map there are lots of little locations for them and they're all flowers so we've got four thistle five solidago two rose hips we're going to jump down and take a look at some recipes and see what else might be required uh, for brewing our own bevies. How cool is that? And a pretty room. I mean, this is cool. We've got a still here. A little bottle. Bunch of bottles under the shelf. Yeah, nice looking room. I like. Make a beverage. So, we have... Ooh, okay. Sprint faster and increased stamina for one minute. Three soledago. Bishop's Lace. Sprint faster and increase stamina for two minutes. I have not found Bishop's Lace. And then Rose Hips. Increase body temperature. Thistle Brew. Increase body temperature. Fiddlehead Brew. Stay awake. We have yet to find those. And then Wormwood Root. Stay awake. Okay. So, Solidago. Rose Hip. Thistle root. I've got those three. Obviously not enough to complete it. But I gotta be honest, none of that makes me all that excited. The one for staying up late at night is the only one, you know, that's really super valuable. The increased body temperature. I mean, we got so much food that can do that. I mean, all you need is the is the golden chanterelle mushrooms or certain types of fish have that or the or the uh ivory turnip give you that, and then increased stamina. Stamina and sprinting. Oh, obviously, that's useful. Let's just go ahead and brew one so we can see what it looks like. Eh, it's a slow process. Looks an awful lot like urine, if you ask me. <laughs> a big old bottle of pee. God, that's slow. Okay, Soledago brew. Alright, so we've got that now. I could make the thistle one, thistle one. I just don't see the point. Increase your body temperature. Oh, you know what? Let's brew it. The only time I ever get really cold is when we go swimming. So maybe we do some adventuring today. And if we come across something that requires swimming, you know, that looks like a little bit less like urine. That's nice. That looks like a beer or something. Thistle brew. Okay, so three three things we've never found: fiddleheads, wormwood, and uh, uh, bishops. And I've obviously never found enough rosehip to do anything any brewing with. 
Um, we have to... I guess we'll put this and this away and this. And I guess I'll keep these on me. We've got the bigger backpack now. Let's hop into storage. What kind of stuff do we need to take with us? So the tent has expired on us. Uh, it's sort of, uh, we no longer have it. Uh, and that required rope and sticks, I think. Uh, so I'll go gather up a few sticks. But I think what we're going to do is make ourselves like two tents that way we can kind of explore further and we'll do kind of a circumnavigate the world adventure in this episode obviously there's a million sculptures to do okay maybe there's maybe there's one more episode in it for us but uh, i just want to kind of get around the whole world and, and get, you know kind of make sure we've seen every edge of it but uh we with with the brewing room done we've kind of started to reach near the end of the game uh, as it stands now Alpha 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.4.8. So that's where we're at. Let me gather up some sticks. We'll make some new tents, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to set out on our around-the-world journey. All right, guys. Well, our journey begins here on day 33. I'm going to bring six fish fillets. That's like many, many days' worth of food, but I'll also bring the fishing rod. I've got our compass, and I've got three tents, as well as two brews. So our primary goal is not to gather resources or anything like that. We're kind of at a point now where all that's left to do, if we poke our heads back inside, are decorations. And the decorations all require things we mostly already have a surplus of. Bolts, bolts, planks and sticks, easy to get. And then ash leaves and pipe for these four. And then just plank and sticks and nails for some of these. So we could, in one sitting, make all of these and find a place to put them in our home. Maybe we do that later in this episode or next episode. But I think what we do is we try and complete what we started down here. Find a way up onto the outer edge of the world and follow it all the way around. We'll see how far we're able to get. Okay, so guys, I'm going to head out in the direction that we found this staircase last- Oh, he can't follow us up there. You can't follow us up there, so why would we even bother? Okay, let's head for this corner of the map then. Out our back door. Which way? This way, right? Okay. Uh, let's head- let's head roughly in this direction. I know this- this was one of the original loot locations. So if we get ourselves out here, we'll know we're going the right way. Let's take a look. And he can't get up on that ridge, so maybe that's a fool's move, having him uh, come with us. But we need to feed him if we're going to be out for that long. So we'll have to explore from the lower side of the ridge. So we are headed roughly this way. I think we need to go over here, keep exploring until we get to the edge of where we got to last time. All right, my friends, I'm coming at you from one of the corners of the world, I believe. Yeah, this is it. This is one of the ends of the world. This is it. Look, we've made it. That's an edge. So now I'm going to take this edge, follow it down back to this waterfall, and we're going to take it all the way around. Even if it takes me five or six days, I'm going to have to be very careful to not talk too much. I'm not going to come back to you until we're maybe in this corner of the world. So I'll, I'll be gone a day or two in-game before you hear from me again. I'll keep Foxy Boy fed. I'll keep walking, and only if I find, say, Fiddleheads or Bishop's Lace or one of those really rare items will I bring you back. We've got tents, we've got food for him, and I'm just going to eat the wild edibles that are aplenty out here. I think we found it, guys. Another sort of corner of the world. I'm going to follow it up and around here. It clearly goes at least that far, and I'll come back to you maybe from this top edge of the map. All right, guys, I just found a little loot stash over here, but there's not much I wanted to take with us. I'm just showing you where we are. But this also looks like another one of those staircases to get up around the rim of the world. If I didn't have the fox pet, I would certainly explore up there, but uh, they seem to be somewhat plentiful. I also still haven't found those other sort of rare resources we were looking for, the ones required for brewing. Excuse me. For brewing, I'm tired just like my I am in game here. So, let's see. Why, yes, this will work for us. Okay, perfect. Oh, and a little Soledago. Okay, we found a little field of the Soledago. Now, 
that gave us one of the energy brew ones. So maybe it would be smart for us to gear up on this stuff while we're out here. The other, you know, the thistle, etc. I didn't think it was all that useful, but the solidago seems like it would be. Um, when we wake up in the morning, we'll try the solidago beverage and uh, see what that extra sprint ability is like. Okay, so we're going to tear down the tent. Uh-huh. Inventory full. How did I get that? Uh, I guess we drop here. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll take that tent with us. Now, let's do this. Drink. Sprint faster for one minute. And better stamina. Okay, stamina bar is locked. I guess this is useful, but... You know, it's not a game changer. This is like the stim in the long dark. This is what this reminds me of. We're moving faster and our, our stamina is pretty, pretty untouchable right now. I guess this would be useful the more you play, but nearing the end of the game, I can't see much value in taking time to, to make ourselves bruise like this. Uh, are we at another end of the world type scenario? Is this a dead end? Yeah, it is. It is. So let's take a quick peek at our map. It's supposed to be, I believe. I mean, I can get back here, but... No, there's no point to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, guys, here we are. One of the north peaks of the map. We have done a, uh, a lot of exploration, and I'm now currently still enjoying the benefits of a Solidago brew. Uh, and we gathered some more on our journey. This one does seem like it would be useful. One minute, unlimited sprint. Mm, I can't stop yawning. I think that's a sign that this game, we're ready to move on to a new game. One that will keep me from yawning from time to time. Hey, Knucklehead, what's wrong with you? Follow me already. Will you get lost? You better stay on my tail. Uh, if the game in time, guys, adds the ability to build more than one structure, to construct a second cabin, I think I've found the perfect place for it. Now, I came here a second ago, and I didn't have this guy. He seemed to have gotten lost. But, uh, oh, this was a loot location. Uh, this is not the spot I was going to show you. It was right over here with all the beautiful yellow grass. Where? Where? How far did I have to run? Aha. Yeah, this is the spot, guys. If they ever give you the ability to build a second structure, a new cabin, I think I'd build one right out here. That is just... I like this yellow grass. Just pretty. And uh, we are making our way around the edge of the world. We were talking a little bit today in my most recent video premiere about some of the things they could add to the game. And my first thought would be... Add a new region. You know, create a little hole in the edge of the world somewhere out here and you can travel through to a different type of forest or... It wouldn't even have to be a forest. Among Trees is the title. You've given people the basics by opening them up in this sort of arboreal forest. But boreal? Not arboreal. That just means trees. But anyway, it's not a very deciduous forest. So you could certainly open people up into a, uh, a woods filled with maples and oaks and birch and things like that. You could do forest, uh, a frozen, sort of wintry forest. What is wrong with you, sir? Stay with me. Stop getting lost. All right. Uh, but imagine that, guys, that you can travel to a new biome. And in that biome, the game starts all over again. You do a new structure. And uh, it doesn't have to be the same house. You know, if you go to, a, say, a deserty location, it could be like a little adobe bungalow. Right, And in that bungalow, you, you do the same expansions, but it looks different. And then potentially, 10 days in, you know, this guy, when you travel to the other region, he just goes back to your original cabin. And when you get to the desert region, you get a new pet. Just an idea. It's a super early access, and they're looking for all kinds of recommendations. But I think the game as it exists now is pretty good. It's pretty enjoyable. And the only issue is that there's a sense of uh, 
limitation to it. So I'm out here exploring the far distances of the world, but at this point, I know I'm not really going to find any surprises. So the only real issue I have with the game is it feels a little small, even though the world itself is quite big. Um, as of, say, 20 days in, I went, there aren't that many more surprises, right? I think we found all of them in the beginning. So we're just about ready to camp for another night. And excuse me, guys, I just keep yawning. I say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, I'm getting tired IRL, I guess. So uh, my character is ready for bed pretty soon, too. Uh, I fed the fox once since we left home, and this is our second full day working ourselves around the outside of the map. So I'm just waiting to find something that looks like a good place to call it a night. If you look, it feels like we're going to come to something soon following this map edge, but maybe not soon enough. We're probably just going to have to set up our tent somewhere out here, and yeah, this is, is this another corner of the map? Maybe we've reached... This doesn't feel like a corner. No, it does not. All right, let's push on a little further. This is what I have been looking for. Tell me we have made it. Ah, and look, a fiddlehead fern. That means there's probably two or three around here. So now we know where to find these. I will show you on the map in just a second with more Soledago. Let's explore this little area by daylight and make sure we're not missing anything, but I wanted to see if we could make it here. I heard tell that if you traveled far enough, you would find ocean. And it seems as though we have. Check it out! All right, let's do a another tent setup right here. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. Uh, I collected a few more things. It wasn't quite bedtime, but let's go ahead and sleep. Alright guys, so two full days out, and look at what we have found. Now this might be a good opportunity, but I don't believe... We're going to leave that tent. I've got two extras, and I did a little more searching before bedtime, and I think there were only the two fiddleheads, which means we couldn't brew anything with them. But if you want to see where we are on the map, it's up here. And our next chunk of travel is not going to be following... Uh, you know, a mountain cliff to our, our left, it's going to be with the ocean to our left until we cross over the whole shoreline. But I think that's it. I didn't see any more fiddleheads out here. But at least we know where to look now, near the edge of the ocean. And I bet if we keep walking together, we will find more. Seems like we got a rainy day on our hands. What I was going to mention to you guys, no way. Wormwood root. Okay, so... You've got to make your way out here to sort of the uh, further reaches of the map. And wormwood root. Now I don't have any room in my inventory to pick up food. Ha! <laughs> Idiot. I might have to drop that one pipe. But, uh... Yeah, this, this is sort of feels a bit like a different biome. And we're starting to find items we never found. The only thing I'm thinking, guys, is we did make this... The thistle brew increases your body temperature for two minutes. And the only time I can think that would be useful is if we had to swim. So maybe as we traverse the shoreline, we'll keep our eyes open and see if there is anything out there worth uh, swimming out to. The rain is going to make that tough, though. It seems to have wrecked our visibility. No, it doesn't look like there's anything out there, guys. Even if those were reachable, I'm not sure they're worth, you know, risking our, our health and life and limb for. But uh, I guess since we're out here and I don't have a better plan for it, it might be fun to test and see how useful the, um, the brew that we made is. So you, you, you stay here. And let's just, at the very least, it will empty our inventory. We're going to drink this. Okay. And we'll just see. Okay, so I'm sort of immune to the cold for a little while. Yeah, I'm not sure this was worth it, guys. Yeah. This should be, you should put some loot out here or something, don't you think? This was not worth it. What is the point of this? Oh, I could push a little further. Let's try. 
No, that's not worth it at all. I mean, there's little chunks of land, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna swim back to shore before this potion wears off, okay, guys? Okay. Well, that was not worth it. You, follow me. Alright, guys. I'm going to resume our circumnavigation of the uh, Among Trees world. We did a little bit of a peek around here, but really not worth it. I'm gonna find another uh, mountain like this to put on my left, and I'll follow it till we're almost home. All right, guys, that's it. One episode, four days in-game, and a little under an hour to do this complete loop around the world, and now we're heading home. Uh, when we get home, we're going to uh, build every decoration there is in the game, see if they have sort of a locked-in place in the cabin where they just suddenly pop up, say, in the brew room, or if you get to kind of choose which ones go where. Maybe we can't even place all of them, but um, I think this is our last hurrah in the game, guys. Uh, Yes, there is a big chunk of unexplored world that we haven't been through, but having done all this exploration, I'm not convinced anything is hiding there. Other than that little chunk of time we spent on the ocean front, the world has felt pretty much the same. It looks like this all the time. Sometimes the terrain's a little bit curvier, sometimes it's a little bit flatter, but there aren't a whole lot of surprises out here among trees. We've seen everything there is to see. Uh, in episode, say, one, two, three, we kind of caught all the, the little unique uh, details of the game, and then after that, it was just a completionist effort. Let's push through, let's get the fully finished house, let's try everything there is to try. But I think we're ready uh, for our next video in a day or two from now, I might take a day off, to dive into something new, or something old, you never know. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think and what you need to see from me. Uh, if there is a game like this that you think I need to spend some time in, this has certainly been a truly enjoyable experience. Listen to that music. Feel that world. And look at our beautiful little home. It's been a wonderful experience. And tell me you're with me. Are you here? Are you here? Oh, good. Good, good, good. And, uh, and we've had a wonderful friend to accompany us, accompany us for the adventure. Take a look, guys. Okay, so I'm going to get some food in me. I'm going to get some sleep. And in the morning, we are going to build every decoration there is to build in the game. We will finish this place up with some flash, some flare, some bling. And, uh, and that's it. All right, let's go. I need some sleep and some food. All right, my friends. Before calling it a night last night, I took a look at some of the requirements for crafting in this game for some of the decorative items. The only thing we don't have a ridiculous supply of is the wood, uh, planks, and I think planks will be fine, but sticks, a uh, few of them seem to require a lot of sticks. So I figured I'd set out and we could always uh, harvest these guys, which go straight into sticks. Perfect. And we will be ready to go. Let's do some decorating. Let's finish up this series by making our fully completed cabin a little bit more complete and a little bit more homey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, let's let's just see if we've got enough. I think I probably have some more sticks and stuff uh, in storage. Unless there's one or two of these. Yeah, these nice easy boys. Let's grab them. One and two. And it seems like some of these things are regrowing. Uh, I've just noticed because I've chopped down trees quite a few times. There are resources that never come back. But there are trees here I've chopped down definitely more than once. And a lot of these little skinny boys, like, there's no way I haven't chopped these two down before. I 100% have, and they keep coming back. So, good to know some things respawn. The game has the ability to keep you going. But we're on day 37, and maybe our 7th or 8th hour of gameplay, uh, I'd have to check. And we're kind of out of things to do. This is it. This is, the, this is it so far. So, just keep that in mind before you dive in. Get ready for a good 5-6 hours of fun, but beyond that, you might, uh, you might run up a little short. Okay. Right over here. Let's take a look. Okay, so we'll, we, we will begin down here. Chuffinch sculpture. What is a chuffinch? Alright. Can't place decoration here. Oh, okay. So the, here you go. Oh, alright. One of each, one of everything. Rabbit sculpture. In the beginning, I was saving these bolts, thinking, 
Oh, we're gonna run out of bolts someday, but uh, I don't know that we are. Can't place here. Can't place here. Okay. Okay, what about... Nope. Alright, so there are a limited number of places to put these type of things. Let's do a little rotate job. Oh, my mom would love this. She makes adorable little creatures out of clay and things like that. Let me check those guys out. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, what else? Okay, so that's it for the bolts. Now we have a stag sculpture. And I, I have a sneaking feeling. Yeah, I was going to say this will be a little bit bigger, but not monstrous. And this? And a bear sculpture. Okay, so we got a stag and a bear. Okay, and they'll go in the other window. So let's rotate you. Oh, you're magnificent. Look at them. Uh-huh. And, oh, and, and stoic. Yeah. Look at these two beauties. Okay, I get it. Now, is are we going to run out of windowsills? No, we got one more here. They all go sort of on the front of your house. So we'll do the four plants. One. And pick it up. And that's getting named like it's from an I Ikea. Skagersvik. Of course, the Skagersvik mattress. And an Avendura. Okay, now do I have... Uh, okay, oh, okay. So maybe the greenhouse. What, uh, can't place decoration here. So these shelves are not made for plants. And we don't have any here. That is not one. But right here by the edge of the greenhouse, we can do our Skagersvik and our Avendura, which maybe maybe it can go right up here. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Adding a little homey feel to this place. And I guess you can choose what where to put everything, but we'll do one of these. Okay, small Stenmore and a big Stenmore. Okay, so let's try the big Stenmore. Mm, I don't know if we want to mess up our our feel here. Let's just put top shelf, sure, and bottom shelf. We'll do this. All right. I, I mean, I guess it's fun doing all these. Uh, and then we've got a burbot. We've got a fox and tree. All right, we've got a robin. Uh huh. A blackbird. And an owl. Oh, I love him. And a bear and fish. Oh, and I knew it. I'm out of sticks. Okay. I didn't think we'd make it all the way. Let's see if I left a little stash back here, did I? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. If you hear a little squeaking in the background, that's my real life dog. Not my, not my in-game pet fox. Okay, so let's see if we can find some locations for our final few items. So the burbot. Oh yeah, looking good. Put you right here, right next to where we crafted the old F rod, the old fishing rod. And then the squirrel. Mmm. It's different. It doesn't go on a window. Aha! It goes on a wall. So maybe we do it right here. Boom. Okay. I wonder how many go on the wall. This one, certainly. Uh, so we'll put this on number three. And we'll put that right up here. Actually, can we do anything on the outside? No, nothing on the outside. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so you can't place any decorations on the outside of the house, guys. But we could find a nice little home for it. I mean, we have been doing our save games right at this spot the whole time. So maybe we pop it right there. Oh, that's pretty cute. Oh, I like these better than I like the plants. The plants, I was like, meh, I don't really see the point of doing those. But I mean, we did pick a decent spot for them. Now we have the owl. He's got to go in a windowsill somewhere. Uh, put him on four. Maybe right here? Uh, no, this room doesn't doesn't take a decoration. Okay. So maybe he's got to get in the mix with our other beasts of the sea. Oh, here, right here. We'll find a spot for him right here. And we'll rotate. 
So he's looking inward a little bit. I think that's my favorite one. Oh, he's a handsome beast. All right. And then we have a little bird ha coat hanger blackbird. Uh, so we'll put that on three. And finally, the robin on four. Okay. So this one. Ah, it goes up on a wall. So I think you'd put this one by a door. And you'd hang your coat on it, don't you think? Uh-huh. All right. And the robin. Well, the robin just takes a little ledge. Did we have any any ledges up top? Were there any places for decorations up here? No. Doesn't look like it. So we'll find another spot here on the main floor. Our windows have gotten rather crowded, but doesn't mean we're done. Oh, oh, look. There's a little ledge right here. And we've got some right here as well. Okay, so we'll put him right there. And that's that. Decorations done. Place is fully decorated. There's no... Oh, yes, there is picking it up. So if you decide you don't like it, you can uh, always come back and go, Yeah, we need a Skaggersvik right here. That's a better feel for me. And a, and a big Stenmer? Perfect. I need to put a big Stenmer in my house. Let's, let's put one up on the top shelf. Boom. So if you look around, you will find some more shelving and little places to stash your adorables. But uh, that does it, guys. That really, really, truly does it. Come here, my friend. I'm going to give you one of these because you've been such a good dog. Such a good dog. And uh, we're going to call it before my screen lights up and tells me how hungry I am, guys. This has been Among Trees. I have been Unite the Clans. And I have really enjoyed the game in the series. The game was a recommendation from one of you. And seven episodes in, we've played everything there is to do in this world. I think that's just about it for our series. Now I need another recommendation from you. If I haven't yet recorded and started a new series, uh, by the time you see this, I'm going to be looking in the comments waiting for your recommendations. So hit me up. I'm thinking about going back to play Islands. I used to play that one, and it's got a similar feel to this, but it's a little bit more open world. You can craft so many more things. Uh, there are sort of uh, uh, crafting, uh, a lot of crafting stations, and the building is totally customizable. It's not like this where you just, boom, cabin built, boom, extension built. It's uh, it's really up to you to place every brick, and, and if you wanted to make something that looked like this, you could. If you wanted to make something that looks totally different, you could. So that's the game that's on the tip of my tongue right now, but chances are I go and try and find something that's a little bit newer and a little bit fresher. But look at our place with all these little adorbs in the window. Pretty, pretty, pretty good time playing this game. So maybe we'll come back to it someday. But that does it for us, guys. Can I get up on top of this? Can you help? No. <laughs> Not a thing. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. This has been Among Trees. I've been your host, Unite the Clans. And I will see you in the next series.